Hey guys, this is Jessica from the Youth Services Department at the Finkelstein Memorial Library. And I am here uh, to show you how to make some crayon art with things that you may already have around your house during this time of being stuck inside or at least um, stuck not going to stores and public places. Um, so what you'll need for this craft are crayons. I have Crayola crayons. Um, I have read on crafting websites that they do melt the best, um, but I'm sure that if you have any kind of crayons at home, they will do just fine. Um, I have a piece of mat board, but for those of you who are unfamiliar, mat board is basically just fancy cardboard. So mine happens to be white, but um, I'm sure that if you have a piece of brown cardboard at home, it will work just as well. You just wanna cut it into um, whatever shape suits you. And of course you need a blow dryer. If you are a crafter and you have a craft heat gun at home, then that'll work too. But um, I, I'm not that much of a crafter normally, so I use a hair dryer and that's something that most of us do have at home. So um, you can also, uh, you know, I do recommend to put down some protective coverings on your surfaces. Um, maybe a plastic tablecloth if you have that or an old sheet that you don't mind if it gets some splatter on it. This can be a little bit of a messy craft. So what is crayon art? Um, you may have seen on Pinterest or Instagram or sites like that, uh, apps like that, that um, usually people just take a bunch of crayons and they'll tape them across the top of their canvas, whatever that canvas is, and then they'll just melt it down. Sometimes they'll put like a cute figure at the bottom and kind of mask, mask that so that the crayon melts around it. And that's really awesome, but mine is a little bit um, more creative in my opinion, because it gives you the chance to mix the colors together and kind of swirl them together in almost like a galaxy kind of way. So um, let's get to it. And I do hope that my little camera down here captures everything I'm doing as well. So uh, the first step that you'll want to do is pick out some crayon colors that you know you feel go together. Of course, you're not stuck to this, but it is just very convenient to kind of have them laid out in front of you so that you're not constantly you know searching for them in here. So let's see, what are your favorite color combinations? My favorite color combinations are, um, I really like purple and red together, and I also really like teal and yellow. So what are some of your favorite color combinations? Comment down below and let me know because we're not talking to anyone else right now, so we might as well be talking to each other, right? Um, so, let's see, I think, Maybe we'll do some reds. I don't know about that one. Um, let's see. So you can see this one is already um, peeled. Um, and that's because the next step will be to peel the paper off of your crayons so that it doesn't get in the way. Um, which is another reason to kind of select some of the colors you want to use um, before getting started. And don't be afraid of putting some black and white in your pile of chosen colors, uh, just in case, because, you know, sometimes you just want to um, darken up or lighten up something that you've already got going on. And, um, and those are, of course, great ways. That's a good start, at least. I have some um, reds, a couple purples, a couple blues. Um, so now it's time for me to peel my crayons, which is not the most exciting part of this whole process. good to have kind of a general idea of what you want your art to look like. Um, but of course, I, I don't. 
So we'll check it out. So if you're using a hair dryer for this, then I recommend that the temperature is on high. And if you have different speed settings, then I recommend that it's on medium. Uh, because then the heat is there, but it's not necessarily blowing so hard. Um, you really don't need that much power behind the heat in order to melt the crayons. They melt pretty quickly. So I think I'm going to start. I'm going to start with this color right here. Um, I think it's blue. So high heat, low air. And you just want to keep everything in pretty much down at your canvas so that it doesn't splatter too much. And it will take a couple, a little while for it to melt. And what I like to do, so you can already see it's melting. So what I like to do is just hold it over the canvas and let it melt until it starts dropping. so far and you pretty much just keep going like that so and it's I mean it's already dry it you know as soon as it cools off it's dry because it's crayon wax um, so at room temperature it's solid um, so now I'm gonna add some silver in there uh, just to kind of lighten it up a little bit and you really just keep going with what feels right to you. But this piece of yellow is just done though. A lot of this is experimenting because as you can see, um, it's really, um, you know, it kind of takes on a mind of its own. And it's really a matter of just experimenting until it gets to a place where you like it enough to stop. <laughs> so you can just keep on going. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep working and I'll show you what I've got at the end when I get to that place. right now it's not the most colorful it's a lot of uh, blues and teal and purple and that splash of yellow at the bottom but I really like the way the splatters are looking not sure if you can fully see them let me come around not sure if you can fully see the splatters but I'm really liking how they are looking so I might be ready to call it a day on this project. Um, I know I, I thought I would add some red, but now I'm kind of liking it. It almost looks like a geode or something. Um, I don't know. I think this might be it for me, guys. So, um, so thanks for joining me and watching me do my art project. And I hope that you do one of your own. Uh, remember, if you do, if you do any um, uh, art projects during this time of being inside and being not at school, whether it's drawing or crayon art like mine or crayon art, just coloring, <laughs> whatever it is, um, make sure to bring it into the Finkelstein Library. Once we reopen, you can bring it to the children's desk. And uh, we will be displaying art done by children and teens in our community once we reopen in the children's and teen spaces. Um, and also, don't forget to participate in our pop-up reading challenge. 
every day that you read 20 minutes or more, just keep track of the days that you read and what you're reading. And uh, once we reopen, just bring it into the children's desk within three days, or you can submit it on Google Forms and you'll get some sort of prize, maybe a shout out in a video, maybe a raffle prize. Um, we're going to see how it turns out and see what you get. So um, thanks. I hope you'll join me for another video. Bye. Stay, stay well. Stay safe. Stay inside.